It's raining here in Oregon. Can you feel when a storm's coming? Well, the animals sure can. They start squawking and hollering and making all kinds of racket. When it's brewing, when the dark clouds are forming and the wind, it starts picking up, the birds will bunch together on electrical lines or start flying from tree to tree as if trying to decide which gives the best shelter. I've been watching them this morning. As the storm gets closer and the wind, it really starts picking up, things get real quiet. Because instead of being concerned about warning everyone, the animals are looking for shelter. It's been quite a commotion here this morning. When we lived in Arkansas, the lightning storms were amazing. We had a Labrador then, and she could tell when the storm was coming way before we could. She'd start scratching on the back door, wanting us to let her in. And when I'd open the door, she'd just fly in and go underneath my desk and hide in the back corner of it and just sit there trembling because she knew that storm was coming. And when it did come, the kids and I would go into the dining room. We had a big window there and we'd watch it. And the strobe lights, that's what it looked like. The lightning, it looked like strobe lights, and we'd watch it until it would just bug our eyes out so that you couldn't even see. It was like you were blind and like you were groping in the dark. In fact, we'd pretend we were groping in the dark <laughs> from the lights, from the storm. I'm asking you today, do you feel a storm brewing? Do you feel it inside of yourself that there is something going to happen and you might scream out? to let everybody know there's disaster, there's disaster going to happen, and I'm warning everyone there's going to be disaster today. Or do you, like Galena, go running underneath the desk or some place of shelter so that you can be there trembling and not hearing it, not seeing it, not looking at it, but it's there. Psalm 46, 1 says that God is our shelter in the storm, and He wants to partner with you in the storm. He wants to help you get through it. I want to help you get through it too. I want to help. And so I tell you that it is a good idea before you explode to tune into those feelings, to understand what you're feeling by first naming them, identifying them, and then owning them. You can do that. You can partner with the Lord to figure out what's going on. In my book, Undivided Heart, I have a chart that I'm going to uh, give you. It'll be attached to this video somehow. Somebody will do that for me. <laughs> Attach it to the video. But there is a feeling chart in this book. And you can look at all the different feelings here and mark off how you are feeling. Mark off in your circumstances what is going on and then identify those feelings. And then I'll come back tomorrow and help you use this chart so you can make some sense of it. What am I feeling and why am I feeling that way and how can I get out? Most of all, we wanna know how can we get out so that we don't explode so that we don't run around saying the sky is falling, the sky is falling and scaring everybody away or worse, hiding and not doing anything. Come back and I will help interpret the chart for you.